beautiful, beautiful friends, welcome back. I hope that you are okay and that it was a good week for you, uh, that you had a really blessed Beltane. The energies were amazing. The weather in England was total shite. It was raining, we couldn't do much outside, uh, but the actual energies, I love Beltane. The flow, the feelings, the energy of it, it was such a magical time of year. Between Beltane and the solstice is like my favorite time of year. Plus the solstice is my birthday. Um, so my mum, when I was, she was pregnant with me, she decided to climb Glastonbury Tour, um, which is obviously why I have such an allegiance to that place. But obviously, um, I then decided that I wanted to be 10 days late and be born on the solstice. So uh, it's all down to my mum, really, that I am the magical way that I am. So we had a request on Instagram. If you haven't found us on Instagram or Facebook, you can do that. Uh, it's just Mystic Love Tarot. We put a, we, I put, we, me and me guys, I put um, a post up about what videos you want. So if you want to go and have your say, go over to Instagram or Facebook, go to the post that says about you, what readings you want and go and have your say. Um, but this is a reading request, which is, when are they going to open up to you guys about their feelings? Because there's a lot of frustration going on around you all at the moment with, with your people. So that is what we're gonna do today. It's got two decks. We've got a creepy deck, Deviant Moon, Taro, if you haven't seen him, creepy, fabulous. Uh, and then deck number two, which is Cairo Marchetti's Cairo Marchetti's encore Cairo, couldn't remember what it's called. He's lovely. I love Cairo Marchetti. He's a great guy. Number one, number two, pick your deck. So as you're thinking of the deck that you're most drawn to, I want you to just feel those emotions for your person that you have, feeling that heart-centered energy. And when you get those love emotions, push it to the deck you are drawn to. Number one and number two. Okay. If you can't visualize it, if you can't feel it, sorry, if you can't feel the energy pushing into the deck. Just visualise it, okay? Visualisation, colour pink or green. Number one, number two, for your heart chakra. Okay, let's go in deck number one. So when are they going to open up to you about their feelings? Let's see what's going on. Okay, think about your person for me. Can we get into their person's thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions and thought processes? So we work on the strongest mutual energy between you all. Whenever I say we, I mean me and my guides. Um, I'm a clear audience, so they talk to me as if me and you would be having a conversation. In my right ear, it's higher vibrational beings. So it's like ascended masters, angels, archangels, goddess, and higher vibrational guides. And in my left ear, it is closer guides, your guides when it's personal readings um, and, you know, your relatives, etc., etc. Then we get a bit confused when it comes to mediumship because on dad's side of the family it's on the left side and mum's side of the family it's the right side but for the sake of this reading uh your your like guides that are close to you coming through my left ear <laughs> just to confuse you a little bit okay so can you tell me please when are there people going to open up about their emotions so the first thing that is being said to me is you're gonna love this is the word soon okay soon patience is a virtue they are also saying so you're going to be feeling a little bit stuck in this this cough annoys me you're going to be feeling a little bit stuck in this situation at this moment in time you're feeling a little bit like what's going on why am i waiting is this person actually into me or aren't they and you've got that sense of confusion coming up around you some of you um, are debating what to do over this as well, because I just got, should I stay or should I go by the clash? Um, you are thinking, well, is this person into me? Is this something that they actually want? Um, where's it heading? Got that energy coming forward. Now we've got a lot of major arcana cards coming forward. So, so far you've got five cards and you've got three of them as the majors. OK, so this situation is having a big impact on you and your person. All right. So both of you are spirit saying you're on the, the same boat, but you're on a different, you know, you're in a 
You're on the same sea, but you're in a different boat. <laughs> okay, the right way around. So what's happening with you and your Pearson at the moment is the emotions are there, the feelings are there, the sea, always, water always signifies emotions. So you have got emotions going on with you guys. You both have the same emotions. You both have the same feelings. You both have this very strong connection between you guys. But at the same time, being the different boats, the boats would signify the stability between you guys. You're both seeing this from very, very different perspectives. And this is why you're getting frustrated with your person because they're not giving you what you want at the moment. Now, if we take away this kind of they're not telling you that they're into you, they're not giving you what you want, we reel it back to the emotions. The emotions are there, the sea is there, the water is there, the emotions are there. Now, Spirit is showing me clairvoyantly that your emotions are a little bit in turmoil at the moment. The water is a little bit choppy. So both of you are feeling a little bit uncertain about this situation, more so you guys. And the reason why, as I said, is because your person is not giving you what you specifically want at the moment. They're not telling you how they're feeling or what's going on with them or what's going on with you. But rest assured that their emotions are there for you. Now, the reason why they're not telling you about this, and it's really interesting over here, we've got the don't freak out by the creepy duck you got your six of swords and here we have the boat you know the reason why they're not communicating with you about their feelings is because they have had a lot of stuff in the past which has made them escape okay so situations that have happened in their life your person has been a bit of a runner so it could be situations when they were teenagers could be going back to when they were younger could be even going back to family if family members have abandoned them uh, like dads mums have kind of left them um when they were younger we have a lot of running away from emotions a lot of running away from the sensitivity that emotion causes and the reason for that is this kind of nine of swords energy over here it makes them feel a little bit vulnerable so they're very good <laughs> it's my doggy they're very good at wearing this mask with you guys um because their emotions are really deep and they are very deep, they wear this mask with you and say, you know, this is who I am, this is the side of me that you're going to see, but really underneath it all, there's a frightened little, you know, boy or girl, there's a frightened energy underneath it all, um, and it's because of stuff that's happened in their past recent past longer term past whatever your individual circumstances are they have got wounded from things that have happened to them and so when it comes to emotions and it comes to being vulnerable they panic and they freak out because you know people have left them people have abandoned them before when they've spoken about emotions or spoken how they're feeling i'm having a very 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 sad clairvoyant image over here of um a young boy trying to talk to his mum and his mum putting his hand up and saying no not now you know there is this kind of sense of when you're talking about about how you're feeling they are so scared that they're going to get hurt that people are going to re well that you guys would reject them so they wear this mask and they're like well you know what this is how it is this is what it is and um i don't really know what to do about it because i can't talk it through so it leaves you guys thinking well this is giving me a little bit of whiplash i'm going backwards and forwards in my mind over it this person knows how i feel because i've talked to them about it i've explained to them how i felt but i haven't you know they're not giving me anything back and that's why you're feeling as if this situation is quite sticky and stuck at the moment the other thing that's going on over here is because of your person being in control of it you feel like they are dangling a bit of a carrot so they're probably giving you a little bit taking it away and again it comes back to this vulnerability over here it's not that they're doing it on purpose to be a dick it's not that it's because they don't like to be vulnerable so like i said you're going to feel that perhaps they're giving you a little bit and then taking it away sometimes you're going to feel as if you're trying to get their attention all the time you know, where, why aren't they talking to me? Why aren't they giving me these feelings? I know that they have these feelings for me. Why aren't they telling me? And again, it comes back to that vulnerability over here. But they do love you. They do have these feelings here. They're very scared. They, they've been a bit of, um, even though they've got friends, they've been a bit of a loner as well a lot of their life. So you might find that sometimes they go really quiet on you or... Um, you know, even with their friends, they very much have this mask over the situation. You, the, the kind of, I can just see a room full of lads. It's, it's just a clairvoyant playing game station and kind of looking at the phone, ignoring it, putting it down. They have this very strong escapism behaviour going on as well. Um, and it's because they, they feel quite lonely in their life. It's quite, quite sad, quite a heavy energy. Um, but you're not really sure what's going on. Now, when are they going to talk to you about it? It's time that you guys get manifesting, okay? If you need a manifesting plan, give me a shout.
So the situation is a bit sticky. It's a bit stagnant. It's a bit stuck. This wheel, Spirit is showing me a wheel or clog and the clog isn't moving, it's stuck. So we need to break that cycle, break that wheel and we can shift things into your favour. So this is why this manifesting energy is coming up, the Magician and the Empress. So you have, like I said, you have a lot of major arcana cards coming up here. So what we need to do in breaking this chain and breaking the wheel is bringing it into your favour. Now, you've got, guys, have got a few subconscious fears about it, remembering that all manifestation comes from your subconscious mind. It's not your conscious mind, it is your subconscious mind. So anywhere that you've kind of been thinking, well, they're not into me, I'm not them, this, that and the other, and you have stuff from your past that is still lingering, it will be lingering in your subconscious so we would really recommend first and foremost that you guys do a subconscious clearing on it all. You can go on YouTube, type in subconscious clearing, have a go at doing that, recommend doing it once a week to clear that energy out and then bring the energy towards you. Now, when I first started YouTube, right, right, right back in the day, what, three years ago, I think? I think it's coming up to three years, to be honest. Um, I did a video on manifesting and it's linked in all the public descriptions. So there's a few, few tools and techniques in that that can help this move along. When it comes to the manifestation, Spirit is saying, focus on the smaller things first. So focus on them um, opening up about their feelings, right? That's what you want to do. The energy is there. The emotions are there. The feelings are there. Everything is there for you. It's just your person is blocking it. It's not going to have an impact on free will because the emotions and feelings are already there for you. So those of you thinking, oh God, what if this and what if that? It doesn't impact their free will. The other thing, uh, if we're going on to talk about manifestation, the other thing that you need to focus on, Neville Goddard, uh, he was a manifesting guru, and he said that everything is you inside out or upside down. I can't remember which way it was. But what it means is that your outside world is a reflection of your inside world. So if you are focusing on lack of your person talking to you about this, their feelings, this is going to create more lack. So how to overcome that? We would suggest you start off by doing some kind of affirmations. I am is the highest frequency. So affirmations such as I am loved, I am complete, I am whole. Um, I am a good communicator, I am talking through my feelings, anything like that to really kind of go into your energy to bring it as a reflection on your outside world. Now, if you do that and you do this manifestation and you start working with the universal principles rather than against them, spirit just hollered in there, you can get them talking to you in about two to three months about their feelings. Oh, I know it's still quite far away, but it's a bit like pregnancy, okay? So when you have a manifestation, this is why the Empress the empress is coming up all right when you have a manifestation and you want it to come into fruition you don't suddenly go out one day get pregnant and have the baby the next it takes nine months of gestation for the baby to grow to get the nutrients to get the life force within it for the birth to come and it is the same with manifestation okay sometimes it can be really really rapid sometimes it can be really quick other times it takes a little bit longer and it is that gestation period so you throw it out to the universe and you allow it to come back to you so two to three months your person should start opening up about their emotions but it, you, if you need to manifest in plan they're all tailored to you they're all individual they're all you know you tell me what you want and me and my guys will write you a plan on how to achieve it and how to get it and they have got a really good success rate so if you do need one just drop me a message and we can get going on it get cracking get manifesting bring it to you your person's emotions are there they are real they just got themselves a little bit stuck and a little bit stagnant and it needs just a little bit of a boot now if you decided not to manifest this and you decided not to work with the current energies how long would it take for them to open up to you uh probably about six to eight months so there is a bit more of a delay um, and that's why we would advise that you really start working with those universal principles to bring this into your reality for them to talk about their feelings okay that is debt number one all right my loves i will speak to you super soon have a really blessed week drop me a message if you need me all the details are in the comments uh stay safe and i'll speak to you soon ciao my loves okay angels deck number two so what we're doing today is a request that came through on instagram i said at the very start of the video if you follow me on instagram or facebook i put a post up there 
the other day about what videos you guys wanted to see so go and have a, a go and have me say what videos you want it has to work on the collective energy for everyone uh, but this is what somebody requested and that is where we're going today so think about your person for me can we get into their person's thoughts feelings energy emotions and thought processes and let's do all possibilities probabilities choices chances and changes of deck number two Right, we must have that one. It is popping up first and foremost. This deck is just absolutely beautiful. Look, it's so pretty. Right, when are deck number two's people going to open up to them about their feelings and emotions? Where are we going? So, I'm just like, when are they going to open up? Got that song god i cannot remember who sang that um live each day as if it were my last doing it all night all summer do 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 wait i wanna that one <laughs> terrible singing um i can't remember who sings that i'm sure some of you will know there's a message in that for you okay when are we gonna open up about the feelings these are good cards you're in for a home run over here, my loves. Ah. <laughs> okay. So, 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 we've got good cards. I'm just going to get those two. Those are the ones I want. Right. You and your person, where you are, where you've been, what's going to happen, and when are they going to open up to you about their emotions. So, let's start off with the more difficult cards. You've got the tower and you've got death. Right. So, I know... This kind of, you guys are just going to start thinking, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, don't panic, okay? So the reason why Tower and Death have come up is often because uh, they have to lose you to realise what they've got, what they want. Um, it doesn't have to be a complete loss. It can be a little tea tower. It can be a big tea tower. Um, but it could just be something as simple as a comment, which is going to make you take a step back, all right? So it's not all hope is lost, everything's over, we are done, we are dusted, I don't want nothing more to do with you. In fact, I really don't feel that for majority of you. This feels to be something that is a little bit more trivial. Now, if there has been a big tea tower, this has already happened. If there hasn't been a big tea tower, um, this will be a little tea tower to come. Now, even though you're going to say, Ali, this doesn't look good, this does not look good, I'm really a little bit unsure about this, um, the reason why this has to happen is because um, just got lose you to love me. Why, Selena Gomez? Maybe they have to lose you to realize what they want, uh, to realize how much they love you. So not the specific lyrics of that song. Maybe I'm sure it resonates with some of you guys that specific song. But what Spirit are saying with that song, they have to kind of take a step back from the situation to realize what they want. Or you, or you have to take a step back from the situation for them to realise what they want. And that's why these two cards kind of flagging up here right at the start are predominantly in the energy. So you are going to take a step back. You're going to say, you know what, I'm absolutely sick of this bullshit. What's going on? I've had enough. Um, I've had enough of the crap. And like I said, little tea towers, big tea towers, arguments maybe, um, frustration definitely. Um, confusion going on about it all and this is what's going to make you guys go oh I don't know I don't know anymore I think I'm at the end of my tether because they're not giving me what I want so these two things over here these two kind of more heavy cards are going to be the transformation with you and your person okay so this might get worse before it gets better but there is this shifting in the energy and it will get better so they have to lose you to love you. They have to realise what life is like without you. So if you're not in communication already, when they come back towards you, you've got this shift in the frequency. Now, stepping away from this kind of negative energy, let's step away from these because that is where your awareness needs to have been. But we're moving forward now into the more positive light. From them losing you, this is when they're going to talk to you about your emotion, their emotions. So you have messages coming through that are based on love. They are going to be telling you that they want a future with you. Now, in this card, you have the palace as well. So you don't just have the, the pages, the queens, the kings. 
and the aces you have the palace which is the top card all right it's like the top trump if you ever remember playing that the palaces um signify that home connection with regard to love so both of these being your cups you have them coming towards you with messages focusing on a future forward focusing and offering you the stability the security and the love that you want and desire um you have a celebration then coming from that as well some of you potentially they're talking about commitment, the future, where you're going, what they want in the relationship. And you're going to get what you want from this. OK, so you've got very, very strong emotions, very strong love happening with you guys and a very, very strong connection and celebrations coming up. Celebrations, messages of love, building a stable foundation for a future. So even though it's like this heavy energy over here, like I said, it has to happen for this to happen. And if we put the death card kind of in the middle as a transformation, rather than the ending, it is the transformation between where you are, what's been going on, transforming with death over into these more positive energies over here with your celebrations, your happiness, and then talking to you about love. Also with this, there could be a few house moves going on with some of you guys. Don't know if you guys are thinking of moving nearer to them, uh, but the future over here is very, very bright. Moving in together, definitely a potential family, definitely a potential future, a potential... Um, there's a lot of energy of this moving and shifting into your favour. It's just the darker stuff has to happen first. And that's why it's kind of important that we covered these grounds first. So you can see the expansion of your soul, spirit is saying. You can see this evolving into this future. So we've got a coming together over here. A union, a bonding, a connection, the everything kind of aligning into your favor again with your palace energy over the top you are these divine beings you are very good at what you're doing uh, you know how to work energy sometimes you've got a bit of amnesia from past lives but you know how to work with this energy you know you're all mystics you're all psychics you understand this energetic bond that the two of you share so even if you have to let it go for a little bit of time or you've had enough it will still turn around and align back towards you which is why you've got this such positive cards coming from it. A coming together, a bonding, a union, a pushing forward. With the world card as well, Spirit of Soma, they, also, <laughs> they will also start to see you as their world. That is poppy. I know you guys miss that. I wish I could still um, have her running up and down, but hopefully at some point in the not too distant future, we're going to be moving house. So I'm going to see if there's a way I can get her back on the screen. Um, I know you miss her. And she's camera shy, so I'm going to try and get her on the screen. She just kind of ignores you um, so poppy just went crazy at the postman so i had to kind of stop recording because all you could hear was a lot of woofing bless her little heart she's not very well at the moment she gets um since she was a puppy she has colitis and i had to take her to the vets yesterday because her colitis came back poor little thing so a coming together a bonding emerging of your energies um the world card over here signifying about the future the two of you being together each other's world shifting and moving now, the last card coming up over here is the Six of Pentacles. And what's going to happen through this transformation and through this shift over here is a rebalancing of both of your energies. Your person as well, just be prepared that they're going to get a little bit jealous on occasions. So when the energy is rebalanced between the two of you and the scales kind of tip back, back into balance, your person's going to, you're going to see this different side of your person where they start to react a little bit more on jealousy. And the reason for that is because they're finally going to have expressed their feelings for you. Through that expression of their feelings, these emotions will shift. So rebalancing, re-tipping the scales and things moving forward. Very, very positive energy where this journey is going. It's just going to, be a little bit dark to begin with. And once you get through this crappy, shitty bit over here, this is so, so positive. So it has to be through losing you or you taking a step back that they realise how much they love you. And when they realise how much they love they, you, they are going to open up about that. Now, a timing on it. When is it all going to happen? This is kind of variant collective energy on it. If you want to look at individual timings, just give me a shout. We can do that over email question. But your collective timing on it, you're probably looking at the next two to three months. OK, so 
you're all at very different stages of this. Some of your towers have happened already, so the energy can be before then. Uh, some of your towers are about to happen, so it could, it, the energy could be after then. So your collective timing, your average timing of this is two to three months. But if you want to look at individual timings, just drop me a message and we can do that. Do you see the future brighter? Okay, you have everything here in place and there is a very strong sense of security that is going to come forward from their love for you. So when it does go a little bit dark, remember that there is going to be a shifting in it. And just to finish this reading up, I just got uh, Florence and the Machine, Darkest Before the Dawn. Okay, even though it's going to be dark, the light is coming to the connection with you guys as well. So progression routes definitely moving forward. They'll come to you with their cup, their cup of love and say, you know what? I fucked up. Oh, sorry. I try really hard not to swear. My mum always says I've got potty mouth and uh, I try really hard not to swear on YouTube, but I totally did just that. Um, I messed up. OK, it's all there. They're going to come towards you. Say I messed up. Let's see where this goes. All right. And that is deck number two. So emotions there. Uh, Keep, keep strong, my angels, you got this. So just drop me a message if you need me. All the details are in the description. Uh, website's up and running and there's all the details of the different types of readings I do on there. I will speak to you all super soon. Have a totally, totally blessed week. I love you all to pieces and uh, yeah, stay safe. Goddess blessings, my angels. <laughs>